I am a proud partner of Car Marshall. If you are interested in a new or used car, please check out Car Marshall. Click on the link in my description box below. No credit check, no cosigner. That's Car Marshall. Black tall? And which one is the white doll? That one. Which doll is the pretty doll? Which doll is the nice doll? Which doll is the bad doll? Which doll is the nice doll? And which doll is the bad doll? And, what, and why is that doll pretty? Because she's white and he has two eyes. Which doll is the ugly doll? Why is that doll ugly? Because, he, because he's black. Which doll looks most like you? Like me? Yeah, which one looks like you? And that one. In the 1940s, a psychological exam was done to tap into the thoughts of the black youth. The Doll Experiment The Doll Experiment was conducted by two black psychologists named Kenneth and Mamie Clark. These experiments consisted of two identical dolls, except for one thing. One was black and the other was white. The participants were black children. Most of them were from segregated schools. During the experiment, they asked them questions like, which doll is the bad doll? Which one is the good one? Which doll is pretty? Which doll is ugly? Which doll is mean? Which doll is nice? And which one of these dolls would you rather play with? They questioned kids as early as five years old. The alarming responses to these questions showed that these children all preferred white over black. It proved and showed how much damage we had suffered over the psychological warfare due to white supremacy. Now let's discuss a term called epigenetics. You could have your mother or father's personality. You can share their sense of humor. You can inherit their mannerisms. We've seen so much self-hate through our communities, which in fact, most of it could have been passed down from one generation to the next. So it's not so far-fetched to believe that one of the many reasons for self-hate could very well be due to epigenetics. That white slave master forced himself on the black woman and passed that trauma through his seed. This is generational. Not only the white man, but the white woman also. Those white women during slavery, they were infatuated by the Mandingo warriors. The black man, the black skin. If they wanted sex with you, either you were going to do it or they will cry rape. And in many cases, if you were caught, they wouldn't even kill you. They'll cut your penis off and let you live. This type of trauma is definitely passed down. This is scientific. Epigenetics has strong scientific studies behind it. 
The doll test was titled Emotional Factors in Racial Identification and Preference in Negro Children. The Clark's work and testimony were part of a much broader case that combined five cases and covered nearly every aspect of school segregation. In 2010, CNN commissioned an updated version of the study by using cartoon depictions of children. And the results were strikingly similar to those of Clark's studies. In the new test, child development researcher Margaret Bill Spencer tested 133 kids from schools from different racial and income backgrounds. This time, the study also included white children, and although the views of today were more positive towards black children, there was still a more intense bias for white children. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comment section.